Welcome to Indonesia. Welcome to Jakarta. Okay, actually, we were wondering, um, could you please show us your lava walk? Yeah? Can you do it here? Is it okay? Wow, kita berikan tepuk tangan untuk the lava walk, ladies and gentlemen. The one and only, our Miss Universe 2018, Katriona Gray. Wow! Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. We are so privileged to actually see the Lava Walk live ya yeah, in front of us. Please have a seat. Wow, luar biasa nih. Sudah hadir bersama dengan kita. Thank you. Good afternoon everyone. Hello. Wow, as you can see, you have so many fans here in Indonesia. I and love we would that. love to welcome you to this country. Is this Thank your first time to Indonesia? This is my second time this year. Oh. My first time was actually as Miss Universe already. So during the competition, Sonia, Miss Indonesia 2018, was my roommate. Oh, okay. Yeah, during Miss Universe. So she told me so many great things about Indonesia. So I've always wanted to visit, and now I've come twice. Wow. Yeah. You must like it here then. I love it here. It's very near to the Philippines. Oh, uh, yes. And I love that the support for pageants is very strong, just like Philippines also. What do you like the most about Indonesia? I mean, you like know, the food, the people, the scenery. The scenery is beautiful. Yes. I've been to Bali, um, Ubud, and uh -huh. also here in Jakarta. But the people are very warm. Aww. I feel like I haven't traveled far from home. Wow, yeah. Lazadian, boleh berikan tepuk tangan <laughs> untuk anda semua ya. Sebagai orang orang Indonesia yang ramah sekali menyambut kehadiran dari Katriona di sini tentunya. Okay, we just saw and witness your famous lava walk. Yeah. How did you come up with that? And did you ever think that it actually went viral like this? No, I never expected for the lava walk to be a thing. The reason it has a name, every year, the Filipinas who go and compete in Miss Universe, their walk is named after them. So oh. I wasn't the one who named my walk. Okay. It was actually my mentor who taught me walk. Okay. And it's named Lava Walk. Also my gown inspired by a volcano because... A national symbol of the Philippines is the Mayon Volcano. Oh. It's in my hometown, in Bicol. Wow, yeah. such an inspiring <laughs> story. Uh, by the way, can you teach, not me, not me ya, <laughs> sebenarnya sih pengen ya, tapi jangan saya. Scar, boleh nggak? Yuk, lava walk yuk. Coba, Woo, ayo dong do ya. Can you, can you teach me how okay, to do it? do it? Boleh kita berikan tepuk tangan dong. Ayo, yes, silakan. Yes, round of applause. <laughs> okay. Yes. Nah, yo, Laras, silakan. One of Indonesian supermodel is here. Boleh kita berikan tepuk tangan Yay. untuk Laras. Okay, now, Hello, please. Familiar. This is our supermodel from Indonesia. This I can like, tell. She's so beautiful. Yeah, we met right? backstage. Oh, you met backstage. Okay. Yeah. Can you please teach her how to do the lava okay. walk? So okay. So I know you already know how to walk because you're a model. Oh, but it's okay. All that matters is good posture. And then your opening pose. What would you like your opening pose to be? Okay. And then the trick with the walk is all in the hips. There's on no the hips. shoulders. Oh, okay. It's just no shoulder. Hips. Okay, okay. So I'll teach you the slow mo turn. Uh huh. So it's just a moving pivot. Ooh. But we do it slow. <gasps> so it's just a step and then. Wow. But the trick is the. Wow. <laughs> okay, Laras. And then keep walking. Okay. Are you ready Laras. to try? Yeah. You've been okay. to to fashion runways like all over the world, yeah. Yes. Europe, Paris, Milan, udah pernah sekarang dicoba di sini. Kita berikan tepuk tangan untuk Laras, perwakilan yes, dari I'll Indonesia. Do it with you. Silakan. Okay. okay. So, we'll do the opening pose. Yes. And then walk. The walk. And then slow turn with a <laughs> and keep walking. Whoa, boleh kita berikan yes, tepuk tangan yang paling meriah. Wow. <laughs> Katrina, thank you so much. 
Terima kasih banyak, Laras. Thank, thank you, you ya. Sorry lo ditodong tahu-tahu di sini ya. <laughs> Tapi it's a good experience, right? To learn it from the expert lo. Now it's your turn. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Opening pose. Are you sure you're going to challenge me on yes. this? Because I'm like the it's best. It's a walk off. I'm it's a lava walk off. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Opening pose? Yes, opening pose. Yes, and then walk. Slow turn. Hair flick. Ah! Cuobli. Round of applause. <laughs> Aduh, kalau bukan dia yang nyuruh sih gak akan mau ya saya ya. Yang nyuruh Miss Universe, kita berikan tepuk tangan dong untuk Adriana. Mr. Universe. <laughs> Mr. Universe. Oh my God, it was so much fun. But there's actually one really inspiring stories I've heard from you. Is it true that when you were, I think, 13 years old, that your mom actually dreamt that you would be a Miss Universe dressed in a red dress? It's true. It's a true story. Yeah, so I was around 13 years old, typical teenager, and then my mom woke up one day and she said, Honey, I had a dream. You were on the Miss Universe stage in a red dress. And I was like, Okay, mom. <laughs> Oh. You know, typical teenager, like, yes. okay, mom. Uh -huh. But when I had won Miss Philippines, when I was deciding on the color for my gown, I remembered the dream. Oh. That's why I chose red. Wow, kita boleh yes. berikan tepuk tangan yang paling meriah dong ya. <laughs> Luar biasa loh. Did it encourage you to actually join Miss Universe, the pageant and everything? Actually, growing up, I didn't have any interest in pageants. No, not at all. My mom was the one who loved to watch Miss Universe. It was only until I saw how big of a platform pageantry yes. had, how so many people would listen to what the beauty queens would say, and that they could have a cause that would be able to attract so much uh, attention that I was really started to think, well, I could really combine my charity work with the platform of pageantry. So what's, you know, the cause that is dearest to your heart right now? It's really education. education. Access to quality education for children in underserved areas. Okay. So in the Philippines, we have a lot of children that don't have access to schooling because their families aren't well off enough yes. to be able to send them to good schools. Mm -hmm. And you not only allow them to stay within the cycle of poverty, but their life is also defined by a stigma from the area that they come from. So in allowing them to have access to schooling, you give them the tools to build a life for themselves wow. and possibly pull their family out of that situation. Wow, yeah. please give a round of applause. <laughs> wow, such a noble cause, yeah? Okay, so yesterday, she was crowned as... I know, our new queen! <laughs> Yes, and Lazada also participated in this glorious event, which involved uh, Miss Universe and two other beauty princes, uh, Miss International and also Miss Supernational. Yeah, here's a glimpse of the event last night. Kita What do you think of her? Oh, I am so excited because her journey begins today. Yes. And as a title holder, you not only go out there and show your best to the world or the universe, but you also represent your country and how many young women get the opportunity to say that they've represented their country. It's so exciting. I know she's gonna, she's only 19, guys. <laughs> she's so young, but she will grow so much this year. And from the time that I've spent with her, I know that she will make you proud. Wow. If you can yeah. her, uh, give her one advice as Putri Indonesia, what would it be? It would really to be true to yourself. Because there will be so many people giving you advice, mentoring you, telling you what you should wear, or how you should act, or how you should do things. But you should always radiate who you are. That's so important because you got this position by being you. 
So you could, should continue that. And that's what's going to make you stand out and feel beautiful when you're in the competition also. Okay. And I think you also have to share the tips. How is that be? Every time we see you, you're always <laughs> smiling. And, you know, we never see you, like, exhausted from all the work that you have done, right? How yeah. do you keep up? This very, very radiant appearance. I have a talent for sleep. <laughs> Whether it be like, in the plane or the car or in transit, I everywhere. can fall asleep and I can wake up and be ready. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, talking about your country, the Philippines, is there any difference between the women in the Philippines and also here in Indonesia, especially in the issues that they have to face in their daily life? I actually see a lot of similarities between the Philippines and Indonesia. Um, our cultures are very unique, but also I feel share the same values, um, which is why I don't feel like I've stepped far away from home when I come here because it feels very familiar in a way. The way how people are so warm and welcoming and sweet and respectful um, and also so proud of their culture. I see that similarity with Filipinos also. Um, but with the women, I, I have to say, when I was talking with the contestants yesterday and watching the show, I was so, so taken aback at how well-spoken the women were. Like, I didn't know what they were saying most of the, I knew what you were saying because you answered in English. But for all the w other women, even though I didn't understand the, the, the actual wording, yes. the way that they delivered mm -hmm. in that high-pressure environment of being on a stage in front of millions that are watching. They held their composure and grace so well, and I was very impressed. Wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, firstly, thank you so much for that compliment, especially coming from you, someone who's very well experienced, Miss Universe, <laughs> to compliment the 38 other contestants in Putri Arnisha. Hopefully we can learn more from her and hopefully I can learn more from you and how you carry yourself and how you're able to stand yourself as Miss Universe. Wow. And you know what? This is a very, very, truly a special occasion because we have here not only the Miss Universe, but we also have Miss International 2018, Mariam Velasco from Venezuela, and also Miss Supranational 2018, Valeria Vasquez from Puerto Rico. Okay, now let's talk about the other similarities between women in Indonesia and also in the Philippines. Well, not only women, actually, everybody. We love to shop, right? Yes! <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love to shop? I know I do. <laughs> yeah. and do. Do you enjoy like shopping online also? Yeah, because if you imagine the schedule of a title holder... Yes. Yeah, shopping online is like my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's peel the beans, yeah? What was the last product you bought online? Makeup. Makeup, okay. <laughs> I love makeup. Okay. Um, you would think because I wear it all the time for work that I wouldn't, but I don't know. I watch a lot of YouTube videos, like beauty gurus, <laughs> and I love makeup. I own too much. <laughs> <laughs> so relatable, right, ladies? Right, yeah. Oh my God. I have like so many makeup stuff in my home. Trust me. Even Gatriona juga kok. Jadi gak usah khawatir ya. Semua, semua. Berika juga ya. The Musicara to Beauty Queen series. I heard you already tried it. I did. Yes. Yesterday we were playing around with the products. Uh -huh. I tried the powder. I love the powder. Because, like, you know, being in a tropical climate, mm -hmm. something I struggle with is oiliness. Ah. You know, so a good powder is always okay. your best actually friend. actually two versions. An anti-shine powder, which so it stops you from getting oily, and also a compact powder, so it gives you, like, coverage. So if, like, one day when, you know, you're lazy to wear foundation or concealer, you can easily just put a compact powder on and you still look flawless. Especially wow. you. <laughs> Did you ever bought like uh, your makeup products from Lazada probably? Have you tried also? Yes, and actually, well actually my, my last purchase was I, because I, I helped fundraise for a school with the organization that I work with in regards to education in the Philippines. Yes. And we had done some fundraising and I bought some printers and a projector for the school from the Lazada. online platform. Yeah. Wow, 
Lazada. It's so nice because actually Lazada is the leading online shopping platform in Southeast Asia, including not only in Indonesia, also in Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia, the Philippines, and Vietnam. Yeah. So, I've heard that um, you are a multi-talented person. Okay, you're good in music. You're good in also painting and arts and stuff, but also in martial arts. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Seriously, Katriona. I got my black belt at the age of 12. Wow. Oke, okay. kita langsung bergeser di sini ya. Udah sabuk hitam ternyata. So if there's a sale, no one better fight me over oh. the last thing left. <laughs> why? 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 Why did you choose martial art as one of your hobby? Actually, I wasn't very coordinated when I was younger when it came to sports. Uh -huh. But for some reason, I love spy movies when I was a little girl, like Charlie's Angels. Yes, yes. So I was like, I want to do that. And so my parents enrolled me in martial arts at the age of eight. So wow. eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, I did martial arts. You still remember some of the yeah, tricks, right? Yeah, it never really leaves you. When you do it for that long, it is like in the back of your mind. <laughs> do you think it's important, though, for women to actually learn or, you know, have a hobby in It definitely arts. comes in handy, not in necessarily in equipping you to have an actual fight, but it gives you that mindset that yes. you know you can protect yourself, you know to be aware of your surroundings, and it just gives you that confidence in yourself to, yeah, be able to protect yourself. Wow. Ah! <laughs> you can always defend yourself, but you are truly a very unique person and you also have unique personalities and everything but um actually what do you love the most in life i mean who inspires you in your daily life it's really working with different organizations and a lot of people look at us beauty queens when we talk about charity work and think it's stereotypical but i've been volunteering at different charities since the age of 20 so that's five years now and I just find that, you know, you could amass so many materialistic things or a career success, but when you go to bed at night, you feel empty. But in helping others, giving back what the blessings that you have, it fulfills you in such a way that you may be helping others, but you also help yourself. Wow, that is truly an inspiration. Yeah, since I'm following you on your Instagram, I can see obviously she has a really good personality. Yes. She's, uh, she has the complete package. Mm -hmm. Like she's smart, beautiful, warm, really warm, yes. and kind-hearted. And it seems like she doesn't have any trouble in her life. Like always happy and that, that the thing that I told to Frederica previously, she has to be like relaxed and enjoy the duty and everything like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's really just being comfortable and being yourself. For Indeed. example, you know, when I laugh, I have a crazy laugh. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. just my laugh. Yeah, you yeah, know what? Juga, we, yeah. we call it in Bahasa, it's Jaim. 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 Jaga image. I have a crazy Jaim. No Jaim. No Jaim. Jaim is like, you know, like really proper. You have to be like, if you laugh and then you, you close your mouth. Yeah. We don't ja need that, right? So no Jaim, yeah? yeah? No ja <laughs> because you know what? I feel that... You know, we're supposed to be role models. Yeah. But I feel that we're most relatable when we're ourselves. Exactly. Oh. People exactly. can see themselves in yes. us. And it comes from our heart, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's the one that I told <laughs> that I finally got a chance to meet you. And because my daughter is actually, she's a big fan of yours. Oh, that is in me. That's my daughter. That's why she's here. She's a big fan of daughter. yours. And uh, what I admire from you the most is that you're very, very humble. And I'm also yes. proud that we're as Asian, we have Asian representatives as Miss Universe. Uh, I think we are also uh, proud of you. So we really hope that you could uh, accomplish all the missions and spread positivity for all women all over the world. Thank so congratulations, you. Katriona. Thank I think you you're, you're very, words. very nice. Boleh kita berikan tepuk tangan dong, ya. Thank kita semua yang ada di sini kalau Miss Universe tuh kayak not like that, right? I mean, <laughs> nah, kan ketawanya aja gitu, Kak. Ketawanya lepas ya. And infectious laughter gitu ya. Kalau kita dengar and then we love with you. We love your laughter. Thank you. Okay. 
good afternoon. Afternoon. My name is Hulan Septiani. I'm from IndonesianPageant.com. And now, uh, my question is for Katriona. We celebrate International Women's Day yesterday. And the question is, do you have any encouraging message for Indonesian women? Thank you. Do I have any what message? Just a message? I really think it's such a blessing to be a woman in 2019. Not only is there the biggest level of awareness about our rights and what we're capable of, people are accepting women as multifaceted. No longer are we being limited to just being a mother or just being ambitious or just being career orientated. We can be all things and more. And I think it's amazing because we're coming together, women lifting up other women. And that's when we become the most powerful and we make the most change. So my message to Indonesian women is to embrace your identity. Never let anyone define or limit what you're capable of. Only you should do that. And surround yourself with women who feel the same and build each other up. Semoga terjawab. Boleh kita berikan tepuk tangan Thank untuk jawabannya you. sangat luar. Hi. Hello, I'm Andine from Female Daily Network and my question for Katriona is as Miss Universe 2018, uh, what social mission would you like to carry and in what way is it going to empower women? Thank you. Thank you. Thank what you. social mission am I carrying as my during my reign of Miss Universe? Yes. I am so passionate about education. Education, I work a lot with children, um, giving them access to quality education, but education also lends its form to awareness, and I also talk on the front of HIV AIDS. In the, my country of the Philippines, we have a big problem when it comes to HIV, mostly not just because of the health condition itself, but there's so much fear surrounding it, so much misinformation, so much lack of resources, lack of education. So education is something that utilizing platforms like social media or different, doing different talks such as these, that we can share the gift of education. And as a Miss Universe and as an individual, as Catriona, that's something that I want to work for throughout my whole life. Yeah. And maybe you can also tell us about some of the things that you've already done, mm -mm. maybe in the Philippines or around the world in regards of education. Can you tell us more about it? Um, I participated in several campaigns with an organization in the Philippines called Love Yourself. Love Yourself. They're a volunteer-run organization working with, for HIV and AIDS. They give free testing, free counseling, free support, uh, free info kits, and also free treatment. Oh, um, so okay. it's just making aware to the public that that solution is there, and so I help as a spokesperson I've traveled to different universities and campuses because the heartbreaking fact, which I'm sure affects a lot of different countries, but in the Philippines, one of the biggest age groups that's affected by HIV is age 15 to 24 years old. Oh. So if you imagine how young that is, it's so sad that these young adults, well, not even adults, teenagers, yes. are having their life defined by something that's so stigmatized and so surrounded in fear that they think that their life has ended before it really has begun. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, doing a lot of work with that. For mm -hmm. education, that's the main cause, yeah, actually, that you are now spreading across the yeah. globe mm -hmm. on your platform as the Miss Universe. But, okay, is there any, like, personal experiences that you've experience before that made I've you actually, really, really concerned about education? I've had a friend. Uh, when I first started as a model, I was 18 years old, and I had a friend pass away at the age of 26 from AIDS-related health complications. And it isn't until it happens to you that your eyes open up to the cause. So after that happened, I started noticing in the, my different circles of people that I work with, there were people who were dying or people who got really sick and it wasn't being talked about. And it was so sad because they were all so young, only in their 20s, early 30s. And if you just realize that simple information to say there's treatment, it's free, um, you can live a healthy life if you take your medication appropriately, 
it's just as simple as people being educated, people being aware, and it's heartbreaking to know that we're still not there. So there's a lot of work to be done. Well, we hope that uh, you can actually spread this message mm -hmm. around the globe. And thank you so much for sharing the stories. Thank you. It inspires us to do more to our society, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah. Good afternoon. My name is Daris. I'm from Trans Television. Uh, I would I, I I would like to ask uh, for Katriana. Uh, tips. Uh, sorry, sorry. I would like to ask for tips from Katriana on how to exude positive energy and attitude everywhere you go. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Daris. Is there any tips um. from you to? Tips for positive, e positivity yes. and good energy. Yes. Um, I'm just a positive person because I love what I do. Yes. Um, I am surrounded by many people who constantly uplift me and inspire me. Um, but also, I feel very comfortable in my own skin. It was a journey because being in the public eye, there's a lot of people constantly telling me, giving their opinions about things. And sometimes it does get me down. But I think of the huge blessing that I have to have the, the job that I do. It's a job that I don't feel like it's a job because I enjoy it so much. I get to meet such amazing people um, and, and experience different cultures. And you know what? You just need to find what you're grateful for in your life to have positivity. Whether it be as simple as, you know what? I'm grateful that I woke up with a roof above my head today, that I have food on my plate today, that I have a good friend, that I have my family, that I have my health. It can be as simple as that. When you start counting your blessings, you start to realize there's so many things to be happy and grateful for. And how can you be negative when you have so many things to be grateful for? Wow. Yeah. Well, like, you're such a positive person. I mean, yeah, pasti semua setuju ya. Being here around you can actually feel your positivity radiating from you. So thank you so much for that. Okay, we still have another question. Yeah, silahkan. Hi. Hello, good afternoon everyone. My name is Sela. I'm from Indonesia. Uh, my question is for Miss Universe. Uh, what is your opinion to, uh, on the role of mobile technology and smart application to educate people and encourage conversations? Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank Sarah, for you. The so, what is the role of social media technology? You know what? It's it's the way that we connect nowadays. It's how we interact with each other, and the thing is, it is such an open platform that anything goes almost. So, we really have to educate ourselves and how to have good morals when it comes to connecting with people and being conscious of what we say. But I think an important part too is on a personal level, of course for business it's an amazing tool, but on a personal level of connecting with each other, we need to also teach ourselves not to place our value of our own self in social media, which sometimes can be really difficult because sometimes we measure our success on how many likes, how many followers, um, how many you know interactions we get. And sometimes it's really hard to say, you know what? Um, I don't care what this person says, or I don't care that I only have five followers and they have millions. We need to educate ourselves that that doesn't define us as people, doesn't define our contribution to the world, doesn't define how successful we'll be, but rather it is a tool. We can use it, we should use it in a positive way, but we should also tell ourselves that it's not our measure of being a human being and how successful and how happy we'll be. I'm just wondering, do you ever read the comment section. Yeah, sometimes. Is sometimes there any bad comments or like always haters? There's always good and there's always bad. That's just a part of how being you, online. How do you cope with that? Sometimes the comments hurt because you know I am just a human too, like everyone here. Um, but again, I just have to tell myself that you know what, this person's never met me. We we don't know each other personally, so why should I take what they have to say personally? Wow, ini harus tepuk tangan deh. Aduh, Ali, thank you so much for your answer because I believe many of us actually have the same problems on social media. Oh, you know what? I 
I can't imagine the pressure on the younger generation. Yes. Those who are teenagers in high school and primary school having to 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 navigate what social media is like at that age. So we really do have to stress that it shouldn't be how we measure ourselves in terms of likes and whatever. And likes and comments and how exactly. many followers you have. Wow. Exactly. That is such a uh, true statement, actually, And you know, for all just to us. add something small, yeah. we shouldn't live, live our life in that if social media were to disappear tomorrow, we should still be able to go on with our lives yes, and love who yes. we are and what we do. Nah, itu dia right? jawabannya. Betul. Oh. Sadly, we don't have enough time to talk with you because we still want to chat with you. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for thank your you. Uh, inspiration. Thank you so much for the conversation, of course. Here's time for a uh, closing statement from all of our beautiful ladies here. Okay. What's the meaning of woman emancipation to each and one of you? Eman emancipation? Uh, well, women em empowerment, empowerment, equality, you know, like, like uh, putting women in the same uh, level as men, equality, you know? Like I previously said before, I think that women have never been in a stronger position. We do have the ability to change and shape the future, whether it's social, economic, or political. I mean, look at Indonesia. We already had a female president. And we have CEOs and directors who are female, just like Ibu Putri, CEO of Sikaratu, and so many more amazing women who have empowered so many young generation out there, including me. And I just think that we just need to keep fighting and keep believing that we can do it and we can hope to see even more better change in the future. Well, now, what do you think when we're talking about, you know, the equality between men and women and women empowerment in general? What do you think? I really feel that women empowerment should start at a young age with little girls, telling them that their dreams are valid and that they are capable, and then following through and giving them tools, such as education, giving them the experience, and then giving them the choice. Women empowerment for me is if a woman chooses to be a stay-at-home mom or she chooses to pursue the route of a CEO, both deserve the same respect and support. And that's what it's all about. Powering women, not telling them that the limit is equal as men, but the limit is however they define success for themselves.